What's going on, y'all? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading. Happy full moon. All right, the full moon is in Virgo, so this is all about being an alchemist here. This is all about transmutation. So for a lot of you guys, you probably been called to do a lot of rituals, a lot of work to protect yourself or trying to alchemize different energies, all right? But, honey, this is a very specific message because what I heard very clearly and slowly... Okay, from my motherfucking ancestors, all right, mind of my business, here go my ancestors. If they say it again, they will be repenting for five years. Very clear, very fucking clear. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a situation where somebody has been speaking on your name, somebody has been doing something. For some of you guys, you might not even know. But what I know is, is that somebody ancestors, okay, is using me to warn somebody that if they say it again, they will be repenting for five years. Damn! All right. So, Archangel Michael with a leg wall, please protect me, protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding that message that I heard very clearly. It was very slow. <laughs> like if the ancestor said, we need you to clearly say this. If they say it again, so this means that whoever is doing this or whatever that's happening, they did it before. But this time they will be repenting for five years. All right. Archangel Michael and the Legwa, please protect me, protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear on my chakras as we tap in again. I have to say that shit again. You hear me? So that's what I'm telling you, somebody gonna be praying. <laughs> The two of cups. All right. So this is a conversation. All right. This is a conversation that's being had with two people. Okay. This could be people talking. This could be people sipping tea. All right. But whatever these two are talking about. All right. If they say it again, they both or one of them will be repenting for five years. All right. So there's been a discussion. You've been a topic of discussion. And you never, your name, okay, is what I'm hearing. Your name is being spoken up, spoken about in rooms you've never even been in. All right? And Spirit is saying, whatever conversation that was had between two people, don't really get caught up on the two masculines. This is just two people. Okay? Very clear. Whatever that was talked about, all right, it wasn't good. And if they happen to do it again, They've been warned, all right, they will be repenting for five years because you're not around, all right? But the spirit God is, woo! You're not around, you hear me? You're not around. So these two energies think that they're low, all right? This could be a plot, but I'm hearing a plot twist because your ancestors is right there. And if they say it again, they will be repenting for five years, okay? Very clear. Um, this could be anybody. This could be a group of friends. This could be co-workers. This could be a lover. This could be family members. This could be relatives. Page of Cups. A child. So somebody could be speaking on your child. <laughs> you hear me? Somebody could be speaking on your child. And that's why Spirit is saying if they say it again, they are going to be repenting for five years. Somebody has been speaking on your child, all right? Two grown-ass people, all right? And it has not been in a good light, all right? It's looking like jealousy here, like two grown-ass adults is jealous of a child here, all right? They might have been trying to talk bad on a child's name because of you, all right? But if they say it again, <laughs> they will be repenting for, for five years. S straight, all right? They've been speaking on a child here, and this child is divine. This child is comes with nothing but love. This child is around nothing but love, all right? With this rabbit here, this is, signifies fertility, all right? Somebody could it. ooh, spirit is saying... 
Somebody could have even been speaking on your womb. Okay, somebody could have been speaking on your womb and how you're creating and how you're able to fertilize and be fertile like this my fucking rabbit. All right. And if they say it again, whether it was speaking on your womb, your child or anything you're creating, they will they will wish they would never said that. Okay, is what I'm picking up. Let's get one more card and we're going to switch the deck. Very. what else from this deck that the collectors needs to know? Um, I would say protect your children. All right. Um, yeah, protect your children. Be very private because you got a couple of jealous motherfuckers mad at how happy and joyful and creative your children are right now in the hands of you. You'll be surprised who, who jealous of children and will try to do anything to, to, to direct harm to them. All right, I'm hearing harm to none. All right, the seven of cups. Hmm. Now I need another card. Spirit, um, what is the seven of cups? The Seven of Cups. I mean, the Seven of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles. All right? So somebody's confused. Somebody is confused about their career. Somebody has made a lot of permanent. Think about a tattoo permanent. Think about when you get a tattoo and you, you making a permanent decision based off of the temporary emotions. But now, when you come to your senses, you can't get rid of a tattoo. Somebody is confused. Somebody made a lot of, this is somebody in your family. This could be a friend. This could be a lover. But somebody is jealous as fuck of your success, of your stability, of your security, of how you are a great parent to your children, how you created a life for yourself, a household name. And somebody has made a lot of permanent decisions in their life based off of temporary emotions and they don't know how to create. Somebody is finding it, uh, finding it hard to create. So somebody is trying to dim your light to make this look brighter and it's not working. So now somebody is trying to attack your children or speak of your children or you in a very negative light or even speak on your womb. But it's not working. All right. And that's why spirit is saying, I'm hearing what you're saying. Just because my person is here, don't think I don't know what's going on. And that's why I'm hearing that's just, this is why they're going through whatever that they're going through. Spirit has stripped them of their understanding. <laughs> All right. Is what I'm seeing. Yeah, because you won. <laughs> Success. You won. This is a victory here. You won a victory. So not only look, y'all running. So it's like you pass the baton down to your kids. So, like, the marathon continues with your bloodline. Like, you are a success story. You are a high achiever. You are a winner. Okay? You persevered through a lot of conflict. You found sex success in a lot of conflict. You overcame adversity. And you're passing that down to your children. All right? You are a victory. Somebody mad as hell. And spirit is saying, energy never dies. All right? It fluctuates. And if it's not hitting you because you you winning, you won the race. If it's not hitting your children because they following in the footsteps behind you, a successful parent, okay, that can feed their vision, that can value their opinion and respect them, all right, where it's going to go? It's going to go back to them, okay? And that's why spirit is saying, if it's not hitting my person, it's damn sure not going to hit my person and it's damn sure not going to hit their DNA, but it's damn sure going to hit you in the way it's going to hit you this time. Because y'all y'all hit a victory lap. All right, y'all hit a milestone. And it's time for you guys. Well, what you do when you win something? It's time for you to reap rewards. So while you reaping your rewards, your ancestors are going to handle the things that you can't see. And that's why it's always very important for you to stay focused on what the fuck is in front of you. Because your ancestors got, got what's behind you. And it's, it's this person or these people. Gav, a couple of people. All right. But your ancestors got this. And they like, if you say it again, you thought you was repenting before. You thought you was in a state of confusion before. 
You thought you was isolation before. You thought you was you 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 was going through a financial tower before. You're gonna be repentant for five years because my person and their bloodline has hit a mountainstone. Okay, so wow, yeah, y'all. Yeah. That's what's going on. So, spirit, give me more on this two of cups energy. Please and thank you. What is this conversation? Oh, the moon card. All right, today is the full moon. All right. Whatever that was hidden is now revealed. Whether it got revealed to you guys from this message. Okay. Or... You, your intuition, all right, was letting you know to practice up on your on your spiritual practices. And that's all I'm going to say. All right. The moon has been guiding you because anything that was coming from these people's mouth was dark. It was hidden. All right. It had an ulterior motive. You wasn't supposed to find out. Okay. It wasn't in a good light. The moon caught. These were haters. These were secret enemies. All right. So whatever that was hidden from you has now been brought to light. Whether it was from your ancestors, this reading, a reading, all right? But you now know which place to put these people. You now know how to use discernment with these people. You now know what these people are up to, all right, with this moon card. Yeah, conflict. And anything that they were trying to direct to you is blown up. This was a, they were trying to stop your plans from, they were trying to stop your children's plans, okay? Spirit, give me more of this child. Get a shout, love the heck out of you, whoever you are. Smiling, happy. It's spirit guides around this child too. You got spirit guides all in all around you and your children. Okay? Even animals. Yup, disappointments. So for a lot of you guys with these fishes, somebody is not fertile. Straight off the back. Somebody is jealous of you. Because you're able to conceive and they can't. Your children are happy with you and their children are not happy with them, unfortunately, for whatever reason. Somebody is really jealous of you. Five of Cups. Disappointed. Like, this is not even mad. Somebody jealous of you because they're disappointed that you're creating. You're able to be fertile. This is a secret hidden feeling that somebody has. That it disappoints them to see your children happy. It disappoints them that you're able to have children. To love you as much. They're disappointed. For some of you guys, they could have had three miscarriages. For others of you could, guys, they could have just had three children that they're now disappointed about. Because look, at look, it's like a fish out of water. There's no love. There's no security. There's no support. There's no togetherness. There's no happiness. So somebody is very disappointed and somebody has been speaking on your child's name. Somebody has been speaking on your womb. Somebody has been praying on your downfall when it comes to fertility. And all it did was enhance your ability to create. All it did was enhance because with this full moon and Virgo, remember what I said before the all cards even came out. Y'all alchemizing. Y'all the alchemist. Virgo energy. Y'all going within. You hear me? So they're disappointed that this child or your children are happy as fuck. For some of you guys, you conceive and they mad at that. They disappointed that they can't conceive. They got to take that up with God because anything after this reading that they do, whether you know it or not, yeah, the spirit guys are watching, the universe is watching. And then if they think that they were disappointed now and in their feelings, they're going to be like this for the next five years. And we don't know what happened. Anything can happen in the next five years. Okay? Spirit, give me more on the Seven of Cups. I'm going to actually clarify these together because this is just a state of delusion. This is somebody really confused to see how they could beat you in some sort of career. What I see now is that you're not even out here. All right? Your children is out here. I don't see you out here. I just see you in a moon card protecting your, your, your family and... Yeah, you're coming out as a spirit, like watching. All right, the seven of the seven of cups to the seven of pentacles. Somebody don't know what the fuck to do and how to start on their creativity. Somebody just too focused on money. All right, 
And the more you compete where you can't compare, it's going to bring you in a state of delusion where you're making permanent decisions based off of temporary emotions and it's causing you major karma. Yeah, look, failure. You got 777 here. So what this person thought was a blessing trying to dim your light or try to speak on your name and your children's name to make this look brighter was a major loss. It, it caused major losses. And Spirit is saying, I'm hammering if that song. If you think you're lonely now, wait until the night, boy, damn. So Spirit is saying, if you think you're lonely now, if you think you're disappointed now, if you think you're in your feelings now, if you think you're experiencing failure now, if you feel like you, you want to un unalive yourself now because all the closed doors you experience, wait until tonight. That is a specific message. This shit happening tonight. So that means that somebody already did it. <clears throat> that means that somebody already did what they wasn't supposed to do. That God was warning them about that they will be repenting for. So Spirit is saying, you think you're lonely now? The reading is out. Wait until tonight. This happening tonight. This person is going to wish that they never did what the fuck that they did in love. Look. If you think you're lonely now, wait until the night, boy, you know, love. All right. This is a failure in love trying to get somebody back and started to try to speak on your fertility, speak on your womb, try to make you the cause of their, their um, breakup or separation or just failure in a connection. All right. Wow. Yeah. So this is happening tonight. Somebody was experiencing major disappointments. Like already. It, their, their disappointments is coming in threes. Their disappointments, unfortunately, is causing their bloodline to suffer. Because they wanted somebody else's to suffer. Alright? They have been experiencing so much bad breaks in love. And any type of thing that they love. This is not, Spirit is saying, this is not just partnerships. This is failure in everybody that they consider love. Like, they're not loyal. They don't know what love is. So every time they go into a relationship or a partnership, it is for the wrong reasons. And a lot of you guys, whoever this is, they done burnt so much bridges with people that was loyal to them that they don't have nobody no more. This is karma. This is backfiring. Everything that they tried to do to you to cause failure in your love life and your partnerships and around the things that you love is now returning back to them. They're so confused. So, Spirit is saying, if you think that you was lonely before this point up until tonight, wait until tonight. Wait up, wait until tonight. That's what, that's what Spirit is saying, y'all. Unfortunately. All right. Um... All right, Spirit, give me more on this moon card. What is this secret? What is this hidden motive or hidden agenda or hidden conversation? Hidden plan. Ooh, air. So this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Spirit, um, what is this disappointment? Whoever that's that or acting, operating out of that. All right. But uh, Aquarius is entering... Um, I forget. What is this disappointment? Who, whatever, whoever this is, is disappointed. Yup. They disappointed because there is a severing of a tie and they blaming you. They blaming your children. Oh my gosh, this is a final breakup and divorce. My spirit guys don't lie. They're blaming you for an irreconcilable final breakup and divorce. And they feel like you are... Recon reconciling with the people, places, and things that they try to put a wedge in between. Spirit, give me more of this failure. And they fell tremendously. This is backfiring. And Spirit is saying, if you thought you was lonely now, this is a final breakup and divorce between everything that you love. Oh, my gosh. Grief and sadness. They are going to be grieving whoever this is. They're going to be grieving. See, they lost a lot of friendships. All right? They burnt a lot of friendships because of love. They chose a lot of unhealthy relationships over loyalty. You hear me? These people don't have no friends no more. They're grieving. All right? And it's all because 
of karma. They're facing a lot of insecurities, all right? A lot of self-esteem issues, all right? They, they was very jealous. If you was this friend, they were very jealous of you. They were very jealous of you. They were jealous of all your friends, their friends, and now they don't have none, all right? They burnt a lot of bridges. Wow, yeah, and they're focused on you. It's a karmic cycle. A karmic lesson has been learned. And that's why you hit a victory. Like, damn, you in your nine of pentacles. You in your nine of pentacles. All your dreams coming true because you gave back. All right. Wow. Yeah. So this is a karmic path. And whatever that was being want, they did it already. So wait until tonight. Boy, is what I heard. All right. A karmic lesson. You've been taking risks. You chilling. You chilling. So that energy is being redirected to this person. And if they thought that they was lonely now, there is something about this full moon tonight that is going, that is going to have them repenting for five years, unfortunately, y'all. I'm so sorry to bring this news to you guys. All right, but that's what I have for you guys. Um, if they said it again, this is what will happen, and they did. I love you, and I hope that helped.